I'm Darren Whitley. I'm the University Photographer at Northwest Missouri State University. And we're out here today. We're taking a building photograph of our uh, a library on the Northwest campus. And uh, you'll see we have our camera, our 1DS Mark II on a tripod. And uh, we're using a 24 millimeter tilt shift lens today. This just shows up here your three channels. You've got the red, green, and blue. And uh, we're not clipping. I actually think there's probably a little more data between the tail there and the uh, highlight clipping. Uh, kind of always hard to tell on the back of the camera, but I think it's certainly bright enough that we can work with it since we're shooting in RAW. See over here on the left, we've got people walking into the frame. This will be a good group coming into our frame right here. Just kind of watching where people fall in the frame. You can, uh, you'll later be able to, to mask these together very easily. Here's one of the things you can't see from where our camera set up. You cannot see that golf cart back there. We've used this plant here, the planter, to block that so that we don't have that in our final picture. You see where our camera is back here. Okay, so we're back in the office and I've downloaded the photos uh, and we're in Photo Mechanic here on uh, my desktop machine. Um, so browse through the photos and look at where the placement of uh, the students are in the photo. And I start getting an idea where people fall. So we'll choose the photos from this. Now I'm just going to go after a particular picture that is new to this composite. After looking at this a little closer, it looks like my first versions of this was probably just a little hot, a little light. So I'm actually going to synchronize everything. Photo a Adobe Camera Raw is very fast at synchronization. I like that particular feature a little better than perhaps in Lightroom. Lightroom requires you to click on a button to synchronize. I like how I can just synchronize by clicking in those boxes if they're all selected. So I feel like even though our shirt or jacket's coming in still a little hot uh, in terms of clipping, I, I'm, I'm liking that a little better. Might open up our mid-tone just a little bit. Earlier I did think the brick or the block or whatever was a little hot so I feel like that's pretty good. Now it's going to go ahead and adjust all the images and we're going to open those all in Photoshop. So we just, as long as they're selected over here on the left, we hit open, they'll all open in Photoshop. And uh, we're going to hit tile horizontal. And the a way I found that I like to move these, somebody else probably has a better technique, but this is how I do it. Move that over here, hold down the shift key, drag it over, go over here, shift and click drag shift click drag okay now I can close this the D key activates don't save and we got one more we don't drag over here close that one okay now here select all four layers drag those up and close that one and all three drag down there. 
Again, there's probably a faster way. Don't happen to know it off the top of my head, so we're just going to do it that way. All right, so I'm going to start in here. Let's just go to our background layer and see what we've got, what components of this particular part we like. The rest of this video is at five times actual speed, so you can see how we work throughout the rest of the picture. Choose the students we want to use, mask them out, inverse the mask, and then finish, finish the photo up. The basic technique that we use is we go through each layer. We find the students that we want to use from that particular layer. We create a new mask, um, and then we use the brush tool, painting with the color black on the mask, which removes the students we want from the photo. Then when we've completely masked that student out of the photo, including their shadow or any like backpack or thing that they might be carrying, We'll invert the mask, which puts in only the part that we need for that photo. So originally we erased them using black. When we inverse it, that, that black now becomes white and that makes them visible. Uh, black conceals and white reveals, and so by inversing it, uh, that we're just swapping the two colors. So that's the technique we're using. And uh, it's everything from here is pretty simple.